What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Football Logic. Today's episode is on a review on my two helmets that I wore during my or with my tenure with the Wilma Phoenix, and I'm wearing a Wilma Phoenix hoodie right now. So to start off, it's my first season and my second going into my third season helmets. I have used two, um, and the story behind each one. So this one right here, my first season helmet, a shut standard with a Sports Star foam cup insert or hard cup foam insert chin strap gloss black finish uh not the same time when i wore i didn't i wore this for all 10 games i had bought a rebel speed map map or um gloss black uh prior to the season i actually had my first contact practice with that helmet realized i didn't like it uh not because i don't like rebel speeds uh, you see in my, my, my equipment video that I have a real speed. Um, it was with the material that the, the padding, the inside, the, the chrome padding, uh, was made out of. Uh, it actually, every time I took a hit, or my, my forehead was sweaty, my head was sweating, it would come down about right here, I couldn't see anything. So, and that's very unsafe. So I went, my one buddy found a helmet for me that fits him, or fits me, I should say, and gave it to me. And that's why I got the Riddell Standard. So, one, you can see already this helmet is old. It was a used helmet when I got it. Uh, to start, it has the chin straps are down here. I have no place up here for the chin strap, it bothered me some. Uh, had a great vision out of the chin strap, out of the face mask. I'm in, interior padding was great, fitted perfectly. One problem was the padding was hard. Um, except the cheap pads. The cheap pads were actually what I expected. But these pads did their job as far as cushioning the hits, but when it came down to concussions, I ended that season with a concussion. Um, the inside is a hard rubber, just with some layering under it um, to protect you from the hard rubber, you know, tearing the hair out. So, like I said, end of the season concussion wasn't my greatest season, wasn't my greatest helmet to pick. And I'll even put it on to show you what it looks like. Um, it is a short review on this helmet just because not my favorite. The one problem with getting it on, it was a tight fit. Uh, as you can see, here's my side profile with it on as I'm getting farther away from the, the camera, so you're gonna have a hard time hearing that. I liked it. As far as it fit, it fit good, you know? It's, it's a, it's a helmet. It's going to bounce around. It's supposed to bounce around, have some give. It's just, just padding. It is it, hard. There's, there's no give to it. So when I hit, my head stopped. That's going to be a lot of you guys. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I had great vision out of this face mask. And you look up for a pass or, or run in to deflect a ball or something. I had great vision. The padding, and it was extremely tight. Oh, in the back of my head. Uh, pulling it off would actually hurt right back, you know, right back of the head. So I get, end up getting like blisters or something back there, which sucked. Now you all see, saw from my uh, my personal equipment video, I have a Rebel Speed. Now with the shut visor and everything on it, it's looking a little nicer. So this is my Rebel Speed matte black finish. I dropped the two hundred dollars for safety. Um, the Revel Speed now isn't the 100% safest helmet on the market anymore. That's been replaced about twice and soon a third time. But I stand by this. I'm probably the fourth time. Um, I still say it's a real safe helmet to have. And you're, you're not spending four or $500 to break the bank on a safe helmet. Now, to start, this helmet fits me perfectly. I've looked to replace this helmet not because it's unsafe or I don't like it, but because I just like changing my equipment up. Um, I like to be different every year. I don't know why, don't ask. Start with the interior padding, the, the uh, cranium padding and the forehead padding with cheeks. This, uh, you know, the feeling of this, if you put your, if you were able to put your hand in here and feel this, it's great. When I played high school football for a short time, it was the same tech, you know, same kind of padding like this, but the texture, the, the, the material over the, the pads was completely different. It was just kind of what's in there. Real slick, uh, didn't whip away the sweat. So when I sweat a lot, it drooped down. I had the same type of, you know, same revolution, same face mask as Darrell Rivas has. And I loved it, but it didn't fit me properly. It's like picking a helmet. Each helmet fits a person differently. This was actually 
absorb and wick the, the sweat away so it's not getting in your eyes and not making your helmet droop. So I didn't, the, the, uh, the air cushion pads are actually, have a layer of gel over them. So when you take that hit, that gel is going to compress, that air is going to compress, everything is going to actually get, you know, absorbed. So when, you know, you're hitting somebody, you're taking a hit, your momentum is being slowed down. It's not a sudden stop of momentum or deceleration. Uh, so, you know, the, the idea is to slow your body or slow your head down so your brain has time to slow down uh, before it hits your cranial wall. Now, it is, you know, you do have ports here and each in each cheek pad to inflate and deflate for, you know, for comfort and for hot fur hair uh, purpose. Uh, it has six vents on the top here. Well, I should say four vents on the top, one on each side to vent out hot air, uh, to vent out the heat. When you're playing on a hot summer days, hot summer nights, it gets hot. And you, when you get real hot, you get uncomfortable, you don't think straight. And uh, that's the one problem with that helmet. The only vents were the ear holes. Speaking of ear holes, these, you know, one, they look sweet. And two, I've never heard more clear out of helmet before. Um, my coach would be yelling at me on the side of the, you know, the complete other side of the field, and it just picks it up perfectly. I don't know what it is. Um, onto my face mask, the S2 EG2 SP. If you saw me look up, I had to write it down. A lot of letters, a lot of numbers. Um, face mask, I called the Stephen Ridley. Just because, look at that. Look at that, was just a sweet looking face mask. I got it. One, I like the bars in front of my face. I like the style. I like the look, the feel of it. Um, I feel when I have more bars in front of my face, it's, I feel safer. I don't know why. I got my my face mask straight from Riddell. Uh, they shipped it in a matter of days. It was quick. It is a thinner face mask, so uh, it kind of fits my, my clips a little funky, but that's no big deal. It fits where it matters. Uh, and I have, the, of course, the shuts, uh, the shock visor. I have an Adams hard cup gel inside chin strap to protect my chin. The ones that the pros use, it took me a while to find that. I'll put that link in the description below. I'll put the link of Riddell and Sports Unlimited where I got this helmet. I'll put it on and show you what it's like. And look at that. It just came right off my head easy. I didn't struggle. Unlike my Riddell standard. There it is. Side profile view. Front profile, it just, it sits perfectly around the neck, sits perfectly on the face, on the sides, you know, your ears are exactly aligned where they need to be with the ear holes. It sits high enough on my head to where I don't, I'm not peeking around. Um, the chin strap is a little tight due to my beard and it's easy, easier to get off, you know. Uh, that helmet hurt the back of my head every time I took it off. So, uh, those are my helmets. If you guys have any questions about each helmet that I showed you, the Rebel Speed Attack and the, Schutz, uh, the uh, Riddell Standard, I'll be more than happy to answer that. If you have any questions on recommendations I recommend for you guys, I will be more than happy to spend that out. I just helped a, a current viewer on finding some football pads, and I just heard back from him that he's loving them. So, I hope you guys liked this video. You guys have a great night.